Hey there, and welcome back to CEO Vito. We've got a great showing coming up for you here. Today's and this channel's premier 3D fighter of the day, Virtual Fighter V, one of Sega's greatest creations. This game is fantastic. It's transcended time, and I'm so glad that they brought a port back to PS4 so we can play this game in stunning high definition. Might not get all the love it deserves since it's an older game at this point, but it is fantastic, and it's so happy to be brought back out here. We even have one of our TOs of the day loving this game and playing in our bracket today. It's another really short one. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with only three players. Virtual Fighter 4. Virtual Fighter 5 with only four players. Get my numbers mixed up. But we have some great play today. There is... I know all four of these players' names in this game. They're very talented at this. The one person who's not going to be showing off the best stuff today is going to be myself, Why Cry personally. Definitely not a 3D player. But Virtual Fighter 5 kind of threads the needle a little bit. A lot of this game can be described as 2.5D. It's a little more accessible to people. It's a little less uh, Tekken-y with dodging and mechanics. So, hey, we're going to hold it down for you guys. Scream at me in the comments. Give this video some traction or this Twitch stream some traction. And we're going to get into some fights once these guys get their buttons checked, gets their hands loose, and we get into some virtual fighting action. I guess we're rebooting up the game real fast. <laughs> also, this game has some of the best music in the genre, and it is. It needs a reboot. When I saw that Sega trailer came out, goodness, a couple months ago now, I think it was at the Video Game Awards, I think Sega, for me, stole the show. With all the great things they had ready and announced. And, of course, as a fighting game fan, Virtual Fighter, ah, six is on the back of my mind. Who does not want to see this game again? Heck, if anything, I just want to see it in uh, Yakuza 46. Be a sad way to play, but I'd do it. Our competitor's getting ready. JoJo in the hat, if you'd believe it or not, and Ultra Shock setting up with the Jack Bryan over there. I'm not sure if they're going to go right into a button check here or not, or if they're just going to get ready to play. Ultra Shock looks like he's getting stacked up and ready. Goodness. Let's see it. Getting right into it. Nope, we're just rolling right in. Keeping it steady with some pressure strings. Immediately low jab to steal the pressure back. Not a fast enough wiggle. Instead gets conversion. Pushing him towards the edge. Ah, so good. Round two. Ready, go. Starting this pressure off real strong. Cool, big whiffs. Not big punishes, though. Oh, good grab. Let's go. Yeah, we're keeping the spacing really, really tight. We need to find those micro pixels in a little faster just so we can find some sort of pressure going on. Good stuff. Big plus buttons. That's what we like to see. Yeah, just keep checking that offense. Don't let it play. Oh, tech to grab? No. I thought he actually was able to get out of that one. Oh, got the wiggle and pressured with a dash jab. With a dash grab, I mean. Doing super well right now. Ultra shock. Popping off. One thing's for certain, though. Jackie can dish out the damage once he starts getting those pressure strings. Once you start respecting him, this is not an overmatch. Virtual Fighter can be so, so oppressive. Doesn't get his Oki there. Instead, interrupts the string. Oh, this is over. Oh, no. It doesn't go for the, uh, the OTG. Gene having such an easy mix. Unfortunately, going to pay for it there. Damage can get real explosive in this game. Yep, goes back to the pressure sequence. Double jab into a plus move. Oh, got the dizzy, but doesn't convert anything with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just barely slides out there. Shoes, unfortunately, grease just a little bit. Gene pulling up the first one. Ultra Shock being thrilled to keep it moving. And this is just first to two. Might be a short bracket, but Round one. gotta keep these guys rolled Go. in. Nice. 
good option at a long range position there. Jackie going really aggressive and a lot more, um, a lot more risky here. If Ultra Shock's able to adapt quickly, he's going to start taking some big punishes for these long range options. Now let's keep him going. Ooh, nice. Oh, and converts it off the wiggle. Good stuff. Oh my god. It doesn't matter though, Jackie dishes out so much damage. I haven't seen many uh, flips from Jackie yet though. They're keeping it pretty conservative from there. Gene getting some very small combos. Doesn't need to do anything crazy at the moment. It can get very risky against Jackie. Oh yes. The flurry of blows. Hey, where's my replay? Come on, that was a cool little sequence. <laughs> Shoulder keeping it away from being uh, parryable. Oh, finally goes for a jump, and he's <laughs> unfortunately in the wall rising position. <laughs> Doesn't matter at all. Nice duck. <laughs> that man's leg is so long. <laughs> oh, catching the minor walk forward. Great duck. Oh, needs to get this Oki here. Oh, stays real patient during it. And it's so hard to press a button against Gene. Can just continuously pressure you with very, very short buttons. Nice, got the wiggle, but doesn't go for a conversion this time. I think it's fine. Nice, got the pickup. Sets it up for Oki instead of going for anything crazy. Oh, wanted to just kick him out of the stage, but good sidesteps. My man's been playing some Tekken 8, but it does not matter in this one. Really nice stuff. Ultra Shuck, very happy with that victory. And up next, right after that, we have Volcano Shed versus Instructor M. Or T.O. from Marvel being Instructor M and T.O.ing a lot of other things tonight as well. We're always excited to see him showing up for our crew. And this is one of his favorite games. He's he's complained he hasn't practiced enough. He's already complained. Um, and <laughs> I hate to say it. He set himself up with a very hard match. He's a benevolent T.O. because um, Volcano Shed's kind of a monster. This man has combos. This man has conversions. Oki pressure in it all. If he doesn't win it tonight, I'll be surprised. This is this is some good. This is gonna be some good virtual fighter, regardless of what happens. <laughs> hey, regardless, everyone's in top five. Can't go wrong with that. I don't get top five very often. Got to be thrilled. I should have signed up. Instead, I'm just being here. Forcing you guys to, to deal with my nonsense. <laughs> now we're getting in here good. So, goodness. Th this will this will show how ignorant I am to this game. Sometimes I don't even know the characters quite well enough. Oh, oh is he going to go Jeffrey McWild? Usually he's a uh, usually he's a Kage player, the guy to his right. I forget what his name is. Freaking ninja looking guy. And then we're gonna see Veronica from Instructor M. Or Vanessa. Vanessa. No? We're doing a butt check? Really? So these are two characters neither of these two uh, necessarily play. Not feeling confident with the Vanessa right now. And the Jeffrey McWild is just purely because this character deals so much damage. A bad stage for uh, Jeffrey though. Definitely likes those ring outs. Brad can deal some insane damage, though. I mean, obviously, so can Jeffrey. I feel like that was more of an understood statement, though. And Volcano Shed starting off real strong here. And Jeffrey can get so powerful if he can't, can't get away with the pressure. Look at the combo damage. Half HP just for a mid. Oh, good job, though. Did an unsafe move. Going to get punished for it. Good tech break. Oh, good back dash. And we still got some we still got some Tekken moves out here. Let's go. Oh, the sway into the grab. Not able to convert it into anything, though. Found his toes. Giving him some space and some pressure so his wake-up options are limited. Oh, and just gets a mid right through. Volcano trying to make quick work of this. Going for a quick parry to start. It doesn't matter. Getting the combo throw. Oh, and the Oki on the wake up. This man. Tag him. Overhead jump. Double sidewinder. 
Keep it going. Keep the blocks going. Protect the grab. Trying to get something stylish in the end, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Instructor M starting to sway with it, but it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, jab checking that pressure makes it unsafe. Really nice stuff. And currently, our player two, player two side just running away with it. Oh, they're just running right back. Really? I can't believe he's not playing Vanessa. Come on. That's his character. Maybe he's just feeling the bread today. It's okay. Oh, really smart on the sidestep there, but unfortunately not going to be able to get around it. Tracking in this game, so oppressive, so strong. And the cannon bomb there. Oh my gosh, so much damage. Jeffrey, not traditionally a grappler, but does have some incredibly damaging throws if they're not broken. Nice OTG. Keep the pressure up. It does reset the neutral very hard here. God, he just dashed through the entire bit of neutral. Talk about a skip. Let's keep her going. Nice check on the jab. Keep the pressure moving. It was unsafe. Gets a small punish, though. More of a reset, rather. Nice, more throws. Just really checking the knowledge of what you can tech and not. Oh, actually got the second hit. I don't think he was confident in it there. Can get a small follow up after that. We got the low forward. Brad's starting to find a way. Lots of fast buttons. Just checking Jeffrey on everything that he can possibly do. Needs one more hit here. Just find the low. Oh, it doesn't matter. Neutral skip. We're through. All right. Oh, got the low there, but doesn't get the pickup. Nice block by Volcano. And the dash grab being so strong right now. Nice. No tech on that one. Gets his first throw. Oh, that might be dead. Oh no, we're slivering, we're slivering, we're living, we're living. <laughs> oh, and great sidestep into the low. Fantastic stuff. Volcano Shed, just such a monster at this game. Able to keep up the pressure so strong. And I think we're going to switch into winner's finals here of Volcano Shed versus Ultra Shock. And what this means is we're going to switch into a first to three. And we're going to be competing with these people to see who can make it into our grand finals for the evening. These guys have been running friendlies all morning, so they're very comfy with each other. We might even get to see some mains come out. I'll be real excited no matter what we get to see. More virtual fighters, fantastic. Match is a little bit explosive, but it can be hard to train this game. Oftentimes, there's two to three people playing this online, and... Uh, they have played a lot of Virtual Fighter. Every time I boot this game back up, I immediately unboot because people are just running through me. So I'm interested in this Jeffrey McWild pick. I miss my man. I miss my Kage. So fun to so fun to play against. Ajin Kujo. Round one. Gonna be coming out again. Ready, Here is our winners finals round for the evening. Let's see what we got out here. Very big send there from Jeffrey. I like the costume too. Oh, nice. Great sidestep. Getting through all that pressure. Good low jabs. Keep that fast oppressive button going. Yep, we blocked those. Good tech. Oh my god, good punish. An ultra shock. Oh, went for the Oki. That's okay. You know what? Send it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep her going. Great. Gene, a great person to check with buttons, but is really susceptible to throws because he likes to throw out these buttons. Might be why Volcano is going to be working so hard to throw in that last set and this set. Oh, does not tech that one. Set up in a little weird position here. Oh, it doesn't get the conversion, but found Oki off of it. Below. Oh my gosh. He's not dead, but we're close. <gasps> Wanted that to reach, I'm sure of it. And the low, so smart. Volcano, such a monster at understanding his pressure options in this game. Very plus. Good sidestep to try and relieve the pressure. Oh, dang. Got rolled through there. Keep this pressure up. Jab, jab. Oh. Ha, finally got the duck underneath it. 
Doesn't do a wall rising punish, but hey, still throwing off the momentum is real smart. Nice. We're keeping it full range. We're playing second for a few seconds. Good check on the jab. Made sure it wasn't parryable. I love it. The Volcano Shed already starting to show off why he's such a strong player. Not even his main character and still running through this bracket. I mean, Jeffrey just deals damage. If you're not ready for him, he can just run it. Oh, nice. Love our options there. We're checking this man. Oh, we're trying to close that distance. Shh, tracking? <laughs> Excuse me, game. <laughs> I think he hit the camera, man, not Jeffrey there. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, it doesn't get the conversion. Volcano Shed's so good about getting his stick moving there, but it doesn't matter. Able to find the throw after the whips. Ultra Shock Show it signs of life out here. It's okay. This game can just be super explosive sometime. Definitely not reflective of the level of uh, intensity that that first match was. Oh my god. Combos. All got the knockdown, but didn't believe in himself. Can get a nice little pickup after that. Nice hyper combo. Keep this man. What's the mix on wake up? We want plus frames. Good check on the low. Oh, he dodged it, but the tracking is insane. He doesn't die for it, though. Still has a life here. More low jab. Oh, it doesn't get fast enough while rising, but finishes the string with the low. Gene staying competitive here. Finally checked that button. Checked it strong, too. Jeffrey tossing him around. Well, let's keep it moving here. Toss him around. <laughs> I, think the, I think the camera had a little bit of trouble figuring out who to, who to focus on there. Nice. A little slow on the combo conversion, but it was a weird hit. Are we trying to get him over the fence now? There's a big man to get over a fence. Oh, you're dead. Never mind. JK. <laughs> It was all a joke. Volcano okay, Shad just wanted to play some more Virtual Fighter. Good checks. Oh, whipping in a lot of grabs here because he's still in hit stun. Oh, shot pulling through here. Oh, definitely got a miss input there. Or maybe he was going for a really hard read on uh, a chargeable move there. Big overhead. Got the OTG. Nice. Doesn't need to do any damage. He's trying to get something off the wiggle there. Oh, and the sidestep button. Checking him so strong. Ultra going up, making it even 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Oh, do they want the same stage? <laughs> they do want the same stage. I'm surprised. This is kind of a weird stage, because there are still knockouts. We can get over that fence, but we don't necessarily have the ability to do too much more than that. I mean, it hasn't come to that situation yet. I mean, Jeffrey just running through that round. Anytime a power bomb comes, I feel like it's pretty much an over round, right? Oh, a little early on the meaty there. A lot of setup not really paying off right now for Volcano Shed. It doesn't matter, though, because every time he is hitting, it's it's going really well. Nice roll away. Not able to convert on the wiggle. Good stuff. Volcano Shed hopping around. Wanted to play some Smash Bros for a second. Keep the short hops rolling. Nice throw. Reaches so far. <gasps> Dodged through it. Wasn't confident. Awesome. Good check. Oh my gosh, what's the wake up? Wanted to go for meaty, but it doesn't matter. Hey, and the perfect to finish out that round. We still got some more Virtual Fighter for you guys, though. This is winner's final, so we got at least one more. Or oh, switching characters. Good. I want some new characters. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Volcano is agreeing with me. Wolf versus Jeffrey. This can get wild. Wolf is our resident grappler of the franchise. Oh, and we even got the rink, the World Fighting Tournament rink. Oh, this is a good match. Let's go. Volcano Shit has already shown off that he's so good at teching throws, though. And a lot of our command throws are techable in this game. You just have to know proper sequencing. Knowledge checking is a very strong thing here. A lot of low jabs, making sure we interrupt the throw attempts. The game plan really changes. OTG doesn't work out there. 
Oh, and the power bomb. Bit of overkill there. Trying to take him out for the next round, too. Round two. Ready, go. Let's go. Oh, good. Good offensive pressure by Ultra Shock with Volcano Shit. He's absolutely ready for it. Hey, let's go. We got our wrestler coming in. Oh, a lot of patience there. After really explosive button checks, we're taking it easy. Good break. That was a that was a do or die break right there. Do it again, you won't. You won't dig down for the third time. Nah, you won't. You'll go for the mid instead. And Volcano Shed on last point before potentially going into grand finals. Wants his, to make his debut really quick. Check this man. Good pressure. Big throw. What's the mix? Oh, it's a low to start. Oh, no conversion on the wiggles there. Oh, got it this time, though. Thought it was actually a reset point. It was not. It was a recomboable. And that's a dead character. Great set the Volcano Shed. <laughs> really nice stuff. I love the wolf pick, though. Mad respect for such a fun character. <laughs> Jeffrey, we are training out here. Come on, man. And next, we're going to have in Instructor M versus JoJo. Got to get our man back out here. I want to see the Vanessa this time. What can I say? I love the Brad, too, but... Man, showing off such a technical and strong character. I want to see my man. <laughs> he's, he said he's working. <laughs> oh, by the way, I haven't said it yet. Um, happy May 4th, everyone. Big Star Wars day for everyone. Wish we could get Soul Calibur 4? Yeah, 4 out here, but... We cannot. PlayStation 2s are hard to find, and even more of a pain to set up for today. So instead, we'll get you some Virtual Fighter 5. It's a good day, though. Make sure you guys watch some, uh, watch some of your favorite uh, Star Wars movies. I think there's actually a, a rave going on. Star Wars themes later in downtown Orlando. Might have to head out to that myself if I'm not. Man, the voice will be cooked before that, though. The Jackie Bryant coming out from JoJo again. Instructor, I'm definitely debating on whether or not he wants to go this Brad or go the Vanessa. Oh, no. Yes. Heck, yeah. Lion is my character. He's doing this for me, even if he doesn't know it. My man's so good at jab points and keeping Jackie's pressure in check can be a really simple character to get in and out of stance positions. Oh, and a great stage for him, too. Has great wall carry. Round one. God, those voices need Ready, updates. <laughs> oh, really smart stuff. Not going to go into stance here. Yeah, just wants to keep this pressure going. Oh, nice tack. I love it. Get this stuff going. Oh, nice. It can be tough to punish that, even at bad ranges. It's barely negative. Jackie dealing so much damage. Oh, good get out. Go for the lows. Keep the lows honest here. Yes. More low, more low. Nice. Yep, he has a double. Can also cancel that into a wall rising move. So very good by Gojo to try and assume the mid is going to come out of there. But at that point, just finish the string. Oh, the grab doesn't work out there. Yeah. Oh, nice parry. This is something he can struggle with a lot, but can be held up a lot if he just keeps up um, some of the shoulder checks. Let's go. Keep this pressure on. God, that button goes so far. Oh, nice throw. All right. Good stuff. JoJo really picking it up there. Really strong buttons. Nice. Got the conversion. OTG. Let's see, nice blocks. Keep the pressure going. Yep, double lows. Now you know he's going to go for the double lows. See it? Good stuff. Keep it honest. Nice. Get the conversion. A little slow. It's okay. It's a tough one. <laughs> 
so much damage out of Jackie. <gasps> Good stuff not pressing during the parry stance, though. And the low. Instructor M is still out here. He might be working, but he's working on winning right now. Let's keep it going. Nice dash throw. Do it again. Do it again. You won't. Oh, got parried. Can't throw out mids against this character. Good throw. Good. Oh, big chance to punish. Doesn't get any OTG off of it, but it's okay. Good low. Oh, and the, the Oki situation. Lion working out really well for him right now. I'm not sure if JoJo knows how to uh, keep this pressure down. Why do I play this character? <laughs> Such a goofball. But he is really strong and can consistently pressure really, really easily. A lot of his strings are also very, really flexible. He's a, I don't want to say a great beginner character because he has a lot of depth to him too, but everything in this game is hard, so don't worry about it. Nice, we're going to the retro, 16 by 16. Let's see it. Want some, want some Virtual Fighter 1-up in here, baby? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it. Nice and Kage coming out. Not from the person I thought it would today, but hey, it's good to see him. Let's go. Nice uppercuts. A great way to skip neutral if the potent is deciding to press buttons, because he gets a low profile in the middle of that. Oh, didn't finish off the stance there. Kage's button's just incredibly strong. It's really smart to stay in a far range away from this man. Make him pick some strong options before anything happens. Nice, good OTG. Oh, the low string at the end, just throwing him off. Nice. Keeping that pressure honest. That shoulder bump, so strong. Good prime to press buttons. Able to get through that. Oh, low check. Oh, it's such a good duck. Instructor M is playing, playing for keeps out here. Let's go. Nice. Oh, it doesn't have the opportunity to combo it, though. Got to gotta jump back instead of the button he wanted. Nice. Keep these buttons strong. Let's go. Kage needs to find something here. Currently on game point here. Needs to start tossing in some throws. Some of his stance mix-ups. Let's go. Keep it honest. That big button is strong, but is it enough to deal with the relentless relentless jabs? Oh, right now it's doing the job. Oh. Good throw. Nice. And actually hit the wake-up frames there. Oh, big low. What's the mix on wake-up? And it's the shoulder check. Great struck to instruct around. Running through with that. And JoJo's still out here. Doing a great performance. Show enough for our Virtual Five Rider. This is an old game. It does not get as much love as it deserves. And it's so great to have it out here today. <laughs> not if you're playing like that. No, it's, that, was some, that was some good line play. That's third. That's third. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's getting all upset about. It's fine. <laughs> We're having a good time out here. He did work himself into our second first to three for the evening, though, because this is going to be our loser's final set. Contention to play for grand finals. I mean, Brandon's going to do his absolute grandest out here to keep this pressure going and get some work done in here once we get the button set up here. Oh, Ataka Arashi, another one of my characters. Really strong with the jabs, can keep the pressure going, and has some incredibly strong grapples. He's just having, I think he's just picking whatever he wants today. Oh, and he's going the wolf. Yeah, we're having fun today. This is another really fun matchup. Man, I got both my characters today. In a four-man bracket, I never thought I'd see the day. What a great time to be playing some V5. Gosh, the match hasn't even started, Wolf. Can we quit it with the sweat? You too. Freaking Tarashi. Nice. We're starting off really strong with OTGs. We know our ground options, though. Has a lot of really solid jabs. Can keep his pressure in check. 
But if we're slowing any of them, we're going to be eating some huge grabs. Speaking of grabs. Oh, good. Specific stance for Taka there on Wake Up. Definitely gets a little bit of inspiration from his Honda counterpart over here, but doesn't quite go as far. Might not be a special move in this game. Nice pickup. Does not get the ender. Instead has to deal with this OTG grab. Presser. Man, his, his wake-up options are being so strong right now. Brandon keeping this pressure going real strong. Ultrashock may need to start respecting with some ground pressure. Or just some blocking pressure. Nice. Oh, finish the string. It is negative. It doesn't matter. We're setting up for the grab. Wants to win, not the extra pressure. Let's go. That's a, that's a big boy to pick up. That's all I'll say. The only ultra heavy of the game. Combos can get a little weird on Mr. Daka. Oh, nice. Does the follow up there and gets the splat. Oh, a wall combos? You won't. Nice. Just a double jab, keeping things really safe right now. Brandon wants to find some way to get out of this pressure. Oh, respected the wake-up. Really smart stuff. But, oh, my God, these legs are so long. Wolf running through with that first one. Three flat. Bring an Ultra Shock up for a one-set run. I would love to see a, a stage switch here. Taka Narashi is so good at um, getting ring outs. He can just keep the pressure really, really strong. Oh, oh, we going, we going Vanessa? Fun. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is going to get even more interesting. We finally get our man playing his main out here. We're not calling our man out virtual fighter. This guy's in winners or in losers finals right now. Got to keep him over here. No blaze blue yet. No blaze blue. Good duck on the first hit of that, but the mid going to keep it nice and safe. Going to be able to OTG every single time. This man's playing pursuits like it's Vampire Savior out here. Both players trying to low jab check. Let's keep it consistent. Let's keep it pressureful. Good throws. Oh, good jab checks. Did it in an unsafe range, but prevented him from coming in with the throw game. I love what we're seeing out here. Oh, <laughs> Wall standing four makes its return from Tekken 7 to knock Vanessa to the floor. Let's go. Check this man. Toss him around. Get the throw. Doesn't do enough damage, though. So much setup necessary. Oh, and Wolf's just going to throw it at the ground. Doesn't get the follow-up, but does get the knee to stop that pressure in the air. Vanessa going for a high-risk move and getting countered that time. Ground start sweeps. Hell Sweep's not nearly as damaging in this game as Tekken. Oh, goes into the stance on Wake Up. Nice, we're checking. Got the Dizzy State, but it's hard to convert from that point. Oh, tried to go for the OTG grab. Overhead, overhead, and the freaking ground bounce there. And my man Brandon does not want to lose. Yep. Hey. Oh, the wrestling. Let's go. Check him. Yeah. Just seeing if he wakes up immediately to try and get a meaty go in there. I like the idea from Brandon. Let's go. Check him one more time. This time we're going for the low. I guarantee it. Ah, see, I would have lost. That's why I'm sitting over here on commentary and not playing the game, because those were mids as heck. Good check on the wolf. Trying to dash through it. <laughs> We're already happy. Let's go. All right, now we're getting off the, the wolf. Back to the gene. My man wants a return. <laughs> I love the banter. My man's just happy to play in V5. Oh, this is a really fun stage for both of these characters. Breakable walls is just a very interesting mechanic for these guys. I don't know if these walls are breakable. I'm sorry. Nice pick up there from Gene. Even just a small bit of extra damage can lead to real good positioning for this character. Consistently jab checking. Good hop over. 
interrupts the sequence, keeping it honest with the lows. Let's go toss this man. Snap the neck. Good roll forward to keep the pressure moving. Nice. Checked him with the mid. Let's keep her moving. Ready, go. Very good stuff. Oh. And great job by Ultra Shock to keep that low stance there. Actually able to avoid that leaping move. Let's go. Oh, the grab getting interrupted there. Wall combos. Good check. Busy not working out there, but great sidestep. The gene play on the sidestep working out much better there than it was with the wolf. Able to breeze right through that pressure and pick up that round. Let's go. Jabs. Interrupt that pressure. Don't let your opponent do a thing. Nice, got the wiggle. Found the conversion as well. Really nice stuff by Ultra Shock. That was a real nice combo, though. It is hard to complain when your opponent is doing doing that nice stuff in a game he probably doesn't get to play every single day. Nice. We're starting to respect it a little more. It's working out pretty nice. Instructor, I'm trying to find the gap here. Maybe it's time to start throwing in the grabs again. I know you were getting checked on him earlier, but hey, we got to revisit those options. Hey, he's, he's reading my lips. Snapping the neck. What's the mix on Wake Up? Good block. Oh, got the dizzy, wasn't able to get the grab off of it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It was a really good option, though. I think you should stay with the Vanessa. Run it back. Hell, even keep to the same stage. I think that worked out really well for him. That was one of the most even ones we've seen. Now we're going to change the stage. I'm cool with that, too. Take a moment. Think about your options. Deep mount. Oh, dude, we're getting the goofy stage. Let's go. Six by 16. It's going to make this fight really aggressive and really close. It's a hard It's hard to get knockouts in this stage, but there is a lot of opportunity for some weird wall combos. It's a, it's a heavily labable stage. You need to be very ready for this stuff. And big damage coming in. Yeah, this is such a fun one to lab on. You can essentially just get insane wall round starting combos. Vanessa also has a lot of incredibly strong stuff on this stage, but it's it's tricky to get. Oh, it doesn't get the extension there. Could have maybe killed, actually. <laughs> they're still laughing while they're playing. I love it. <laughs> Enough time in between rounds, you can actually converse with your opponent. I love it. Not too much on the line here. Just a whole bunch of good, good fighting game friends having a good time. Everybody wants to win, but... It's more important to have a, have a good time while we're out here. And right now, Ultra Shock just getting the better end of these conversions on wall. Great grab to finish it up. Ultra Shock looking to 3-0 to finish up this set. What will Instructor M do? Will he keep it honest? Or is he going to start finding some, some nasty options? Start switching the stance up. Oh, God, he got away with that again. A great grounded jab to keep Vanessa off her game. This could do it. No, no OTG there. I wasn't sure what the combo would allow for. And Gene dishing out the damage. Dealing incredibly good stuff. Instructor M. I think should be happy with his performance. Did very, very well. And now we're going to see grand finals up here with Volcano Shed in first place. And Ultra Shock looking for this run back. Looking for the run back here. Wants to bring this up. <laughs> uh, but if you are tuned in, if you are watching us live, thank you so much for watching some Virtual Fighter Five. This game is fantastic, and we love when people are out here supporting it. If you're not, and you're watching the VOD, hey, maybe this is even one of your first instances of Virtual Fighter Five. Hey, I'm even I'm spawning it into existence. Maybe this is your introduction because Virtual Fighter 6 has been turned on. Welcome to the scene. Have some fun out here. Watch some of these great players here in Grand Finals. It's going to be a good set. I'd love to see the Kage, but I don't think we're going to see it until we see a reset. Nothing but real great stuff from these guys.
Nothing but smiles and happiness out here. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Jeffrey McWild coming right back in. This is Grand Finals of Virtual Fighter 5. Let's see what our gentlemen have to bring to the table. We're taking us to the, the premier land of fancy living over here for the Rich's Blood Sport. Let's go. Big conversions. Guess for game. Oh, he guessed good. Stayed standing. Doesn't get hit there. Plus frames. Good. Oh, he got through it, but he doesn't convert. Keep the pressure going. Nice. Good uppercut. Able to just convert with some quick jabs there. Still his turn. Good spacings. Welcome to the wall. He's going to crack that skull just a tiny bit here. Keep it going. Nice duck under the pressure. Caught him. Able to keep that very positive there. Let's go jab check this man. Toss him towards the wall. And Gene right now might not be the answer. It's tough though. There's not many answers against Volcano. This man's just so good at this game. Toss him around, breaking the back. It's gotta hurt. He's got chains on. Can't feel good. Got some broken glass on the stadium. It's okay, this could be the last round. Oh, actually able to space it where he had a chance to punish, but unfortunately too slow. This game could be very difficult with trying to outspace moves. Not a, not a common thing for our Virtual Fighter 5 players. Switching some characters. I'd love to see what, what the Mac is. Oh, Akira! We got Mr. Top Tier himself, but are we practiced enough for this? It's a great pick for the man, but it, it can get real tricky. Ready, go. Oh, good spacing about the Pino Shang. Nice plus. Disrespect that plus frame. Let's go. Training combos. Good, we're knocking him down. Loaded. Low to keep the pressure going. Let's go. Dude, where is this at? I want to go hang out here. A whole bunch of grass and some freaking horses and a giant stage for fighting in the middle of nowhere. I'll see you all here at 6 o'clock for the, for the matches. Oh, good pressure on the buttons there. The hop kick crushing that throw. And the Akira pressure coming out real strong. Volcano very content with just holding block there. Trying to go up two games real quick. But Ultra Shock is trying to find some sort of some recourse, some way to crack this defense. Unfortunately, Akira's game plan just a tiny bit limited. Not quite as strong on the high-low mix. And unfortunately, a drop there on the buttons. No punish on the whiff. And he's doing it real fast. Volcano Shed showing off why he's one of the best at the at Virtual Fighter. Round my neck a little bit here. Ready, Let's get to this potential last match of the evening. Power bomb. Toss him to the floor. Oh, nice pick on the aerial buttons. Power bomb. What's the mix? Low? No. Oh, nice. Got the hop kick. Not a huge conversion, but damage is damage. Keep this man running. Check them still. Round two. Ready, go. Let's go. Good pick up. I've been practicing that one. I've been seeing it. Nice low. So hard to read. And Volcano Shed getting a perfect, running into his potential last match of the set. So confident in his abilities right now. He can do no wrong. Good set to the side by Ultra Shock, trying to dictate the pace of this match. Keep him going. Nice, we're going to get a big pick up here. Oh, good duck under. The punish is there. Put him towards the wall. Oh, the meaty doesn't connect. It was just a frame too early. Oh, we got it. Keep it going. Nice, we checked before the buttons came out. Good tech. 
Both players thinking about what the final move could potentially be. And it's a mid. Volcano Shed just running through the finals there. Really nice stuff. And hey, it's already over. Volcano Shed running through 9-0 on his grand finals winner side set. What a fantastic player. I'm ashamed we didn't get to see the Kage from him, but it's okay because he can do it with the McWild. He can probably do it with the random button. Just a fantastic player. I've, like, shrunken over here. I am scooted down so much. What's not scooted down is our brackets because we are on schedule. We are on time, and we are going to get some more fights coming to you guys very soon. I don't actually know what the next game is. It might be Grand Blue Fantasy. But I'm going to wait for the TOs to pull that up and run through that with you guys. In the meanwhile, this has been Virtual Fighter it's here at CEO Vito. We've got some ads for you guys and some more stuff coming up real soon. Take care.